change your heart, change your life, change the planet. It's the difference between habits and reactions. So when someone is in a state of stress or someone is in a state of uh, dislike about their body or dislike about their life, there's so much pressure. We, we feel so much disgust or self-loathing or whatever the, the feeling may be. It's like we have to do something. And because that feeling is so intense, we don't want to do something small. We don't want to make a small change. No, we have to make a big change and we have to do it now. I need to see something changing right now. So we have this emotional reaction. And when we have uh, goals based on emotional reactions, we're always going to choose extremes. But extremes never last. They're not sustainable because they're too far away from who you habitually are. They're too far away from your character. So we always we come back. In psychology, they call this regression to the mean. Like we, we may get up high on that wave, but the wave always crashes and then eventually just levels out with the ocean. You know, it doesn't stay high. It always crashes. It regresses to the mean, to the average. So what we want to do instead of having these emotional reactions, which are the beginning, they're the first step. They're not bad. They're the step that gets you on the path. So just like riding a bicycle, at first you're going to be wobbly and you're going to fall over and you're going to get hurt, but then eventually you're going to learn balance. So the yo-yo is about you know wobbling on the bicycle and wobbling too much to the left and then wobbling too much to the right and sometimes you fall over, but eventually you learn how to balance in the middle. People yeah. often confuse a middle path with an extreme. For instance, the human body is not meant to sit for 8 to 12 hours a day, but yet that has become the norm. That is the normal thing to do. But it is not normal for the human body. It is simply normal for the culture that we have right now. Same with the food. We're eating fast food. We're eating highly processed food. Is that normal for our current culture? Yes. But is that normal for the body? No. So as far as the body is concerned, that is an extreme. It's not the middle path. But for our culture, that seems like a middle path. So we have to look at how are we measuring that middle? Are we measuring the middle against the culture? Or are we measuring that middle against what the body is really built to do? So that's where my measurements come in. Like, what is the body built to do? The body needs to move. The body needs to eat clean food. The body needs to eat simple whole foods. The body needs to get out there and enjoy natural environments. The body needs to have positive social interactions. Like, these are the basic needs of a human being. Love, affection, connection, things like that. So when somebody says, oh, don't be so extreme with your exercise or your diet, they don't realize that the the foundation that they are standing on and looking from is an extreme, but it's just a culturally accepted extreme, so it no longer looks like an extreme. They haven't investigated it deeply. So that's not the middle path I'm talking about. The human body is a mechanism of resistance it grows stronger mentally, physically, and spiritually through challenge. You don't stare at a gym and get stronger. You have to go into the gym and lift the weights, and that hurts. There's effort involved, and you're going to be tired. But then you're going to be stronger because of it. And when people meditate, that is challenging. It's difficult to do. Same with yoga. But we become spiritually stronger or mentally stronger because we have done that. And when we get ourselves to engage in exercise or get ourselves to engage in challenging conversations, yeah, that takes effort and it's scary, but we become more emotionally strong when we do these things. So it's not about having a middle societal view or a middle societal path. It's about having simply a slowly progressing average that's actually going uphill. It's not a flat line. Our middle ground is not flat. Our middle ground is moving uphill. And we're having ups above that and we're having downs below it. So the average in our culture may have little ups and downs, but they generally balance each other out and the person doesn't grow, so the line remains flat. But what I'm talking about is this idea that resistance is what the body wants. It's what the body needs in small doses. Even though we're having challenges and then we're having the opposite, we're having you know extreme pleasure or giving into things, the end result is that we have challenged ourselves more than we have celebrated. So it's about going two steps forward, one step back. 
two steps forward, one step back. Because that one step back feels good. We need that. We can't always go two steps forward. And we can't always go one step forward. We need to come back a little bit. We need to rest. We need to recover. We need to step back and look at what we're doing and saying, okay, I'm challenging myself, but am I having any pleasure? Am I having any enjoyment? Am I just, am I enjoying the strength that I'm getting? If I go out and run all day long and eat raw food and I don't enjoy anything, then what's the point? Mm 